Welcome everybody, welcome back. Another episode, episode two of what is needed for wet shaving. So obviously, first thing you're gonna need is water. <laughs> I hope you guys are following this series. We already did the first video. The second video, we are gonna be talking about brushes. Why do you need a brush? You technically don't need a brush, but this is what is needed for traditional wet shaving. So we are going to be using the word wet shaving, but what I, every time I talk about the word wet shaving, I'm talking about traditional wet shaving. So what do we need? We need a brush. So these are a lot of different examples of uh, shaving brushes that people collect and we you can use the most used and the most traditional ones are made out of uh, badger and boar so these are real boar hairs and if you see in here they're really stiff this is boar hair it takes a little bit more to break in but once it breaks in it gives a very very good lather Badger will be something such as this. This is a black badger, black badger hair. There are many different styles of badger. These are these can range from super soft uh, uh, and to a more prickly one, right? So like black badger is more a little bit more prickly and uh, but it's still softer than your normal or more common. Uh, bore um, bristles brush we also use now on the new age we have very good um, fake <laughs> not fake synthetic synthetic hair brushes and these are perfect because when you talk about natural hair uh, natural bristles there, there is a maintenance attached to that a little bit you have to break them in sometimes they come with a, uh, an odor that you have to get rid of uh, there's more to it um, that's why these are more traditional these ones are more modernized but these work perfectly they don't need a break in they don't need to be soaking in water for any any time at all actually um, these you have to soak in etc I do have videos about brushes and the different type of brushes. Go check out those videos on my playlist on the how to. And I have an actual video that talks about the difference. And I lather with each of them, showing you how the lather uh, changes between them. Now, this one here is horsehair, just 100% horsehair. This one, once it's wet, it's like, like a paintbrush. It's, it's super flimsy. Really cool. This one is 50-50. It's 50% 50 horse and 50% badger. This one provides a little bit more structure than the 100% than the horse. And the beautiful thing about these brushes is that you can have an artisan create nice, like this one is made in Italy by Pantare. Uh, he created this one for me, one for my brother. Uh, this one I salvaged the head from another shaving brush and then I put a horse hair there this one was made for me like a 357 or 44 mag uh, barrel uh, some could be made out of wood such as this one resin such as this one they turn these they come out really nice awesome colors you can mat mix and match you have some that are made out of ceramic and then you have some are made out of stones. This one is uh, it's jade, it's really hard. Uh, these brushes, I'm not here to tell you how to use them because I already have videos on how to use brushes. And I already have a bunch of videos on um, shaving with them. So please just peruse through my library and my playlist and look at the different ways that you can use these brushes. I just wanted to point out, this is the second video in this series. What do you need for traditional wet shaving? Well, you need a brush. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave your comments below. What is your favorite brush? If you already wet shave, what is your favorite brush that you utilize? Do you like Badger? Do you like uh, 
boar? Do you like synthetic? Do you like hair, uh, horse? What else do you have in your in your list? Please let me know in the comments below. Be nice. Catch with you guys later.